Hello everyone. In this video, I will show use of if else and switch as a decision making statement in Octave. So uh, the syntax for if else in Octave same as in C. So we are taking here a simple example. Let's take one variable first. So this variable we have assigned a value one. Now we want to check with the help of if whether this value is equal to 1 or not so let's go for sim simple if if here we need to write the condition so we want to check whether the x is having 1 or not here we need to write body so we want to print a simple message x is equal to 1 and uh, we don't want to print uh, this message immediately so what we will do we will put a semicolon so that uh, this message will be printed once this if block will be completed and here if there is any other instruction you want to write you can write otherwise just close the if and if so if you can see uh, it has printed a message x is equal to 1 now uh, let's take another example where the value of x is equal to 2 and if we run the same block again it will not print anything so what we want we want to print whether the value is less than 10 or greater than 10 and let's assign a value 12 in variable x so what we need to write we will write a condition here if x less than 10. So in that case what we will print less than 10. We will put a semicolon else. So here we are writing a else part as well. So now this else part actually provide a facility to execute a number of commands or instruction on the failure of condition given in if so here if you can see the value of x is 12 and uh, when this condition is evaluated this condition become false and the control will be transferred to else and it will print greater than 10 now uh, let's take a simple example to find out whether a value is odd or even So this percentage symbol I'm using for comment. So let's take a variable or uh, assign a different value in this variable x. So I have assigned a value 13. Now the question is that how are we going to fetch the remainder of x or mode. So here we are having a function rem. It uh, stands for remainder and uh, we want to see a remainder when we divide x by 2. So if this remainder is equivalent to 0, it means that number is a even number. Else part, we will print odd number. And here we will close the if. So here if you can see it has printed odd number because this condition became false and that's why this else part got executed. So uh, in case uh, if you want to give condition in else part as well. So how you can write like uh, let's say we want to check whether a number is equal to 0, less than 0 or greater than 0. So what we will write, uh, first of all, let's uh, use the value of x. So if this x value greater than 0, in that case we will print greater than 0. Now in else part we need to check whether this value is equivalent to 0 or less than 0. So here we will write one more condition x 
equal to 0. In that case, we will print equal to 0. And in else part, we will simply print less than 0. And here we will close the if. So uh, actually, I written the wrong spelling. So this is actually greater. So the value of x was 13, and uh, it makes this condition true, and that's why it has printed greater than zero. So here we have seen how to use if else. You can use a if else letter as well. Now the second example I'm taking. Uh, which we will solve using switch case. So let's say we want to write the same program with the help of switch case. So what is the syntax in Octave? First you need to write switch. Now you have to write the variable over which you want to ch check various cases. So here we will write x. Then here we have to write case. So if the value is equivalent to 0. Let's print equal to 0. Case 1. So uh, here we are taking actually a different example. Equal to 1. Let's say case 3 equal to and if you remember switch case syntax from C language in C language we used to have a default case and that case will be executed if there is no matching matching case found so similarly here we are having a otherwise uh, it works same as default so if the value of X does not matches with any of these cases this one will be executed so here we are simply printing otherwise case and uh, now we need to close this body of switch so we will write and switch so it has printed otherwise case because the value of x was 13 and first case not matched second case also not matched third case also not matched that's why otherwise now uh, if you are writing duplicate cases let's say in the first line i have written case 0 and if the second line also having case 0 so what will happen if the value of x is 0 only first case will be executed it will not execute the second one so whenever the first match found that case will be executed so these are the decision making statements used in Octave. Thank you very much for watching.